Okay, so here we are at uh, my workstation, my little modular synthesis setup. This is episode two of series two, Sunday Night Synthesis. It is a Sunday night. This video will be going up a little late. And yeah, I got a little dog over there that wants to be in this. <laughs> That's Allie. She's pretty much just a mini schnauzer. But anyway, um, last week I did a little performing with my setup here and kind of featured uh, among the other, well, there's two featured instruments. This, the Coma Commander, and this, the uh, Korg SQ-1 step sequencer. This week I wanted to just go into a little more depth about the Coma Commander. It's a nice unit. Um, I mostly bought it to control my work stat here. Because the work stat just has a little built-in keyboard on it. And, um, you know, if you want to hook up through CV and gate... Uh, an external keyboard you can but it doesn't have an EG in just has a VCA in so your notes kind of like click on and off and the oscillator has tracking problems so you go out of tune pretty quickly with it um, so I figure well since it is kind of like a A theremin by its own nature might as well try to use something like a theremin to control it and so I got this coma commander it has two sections to it you see there's three sensors up here these are labeled two and these three down here are labeled one and really what it is it's a pair there's three sensors, but they're working like a pair in that the one sensor on its own here is picking up um, gate signal. If there's something present in front of it, it's on. For example, I have this patch cable here, this black one going into the VCA over here on the work stat. If I hit the keyboard, it's on, but, you know, if I wanted to trigger it on with this, I could. You know, if the hand's there, it's on. Snaps on and off because it's a gate signal. It's either on or off, so you hear a hard effect at the beginning or end. Um, but that can be used to send, you know, on and off gate signals. Uh, and then... If I were to connect this to the next one over, this is section 2's CV section, which are these two sensors that sense range. So, so I could control the VCA that way, since it's not just a drastic on-off signal you get fades. So if you wanted to have um, you know, fades in like that, works great. <clears throat> um, if I go over to the next one, well, Actually, let's do this. If I put the black cable back into the gate, that sends a gate on-off signal to the VCA. And then this gray one is patched through to the uh, CV pitch in here. And so what I'm able to do now is basically the gate turns the amplifier on and my proximity is pitch. Hello? 
of, not here and that. Oh, I have it in the wrong one. See, these first two inlets over here are for section 2, CV, and gate. And this will be for section 1, CV, and gate. And these guys are kind of cramped. I've got my frequency knob up a little high. There we go. But you see, when I go so far away, the gate just snaps off. Um, so a lot of times what I like to do is use the two, two CVs here. So right now this gray cable is going to be hooked up to CV of section 2, the upper half. And this black cable is hooked up to CV of section 1, the lower half. So now in the lower half, that's where I can control the amplifier, the loudness. And here, I can control pitch. cool thing about this is uh, the sensors are not in the visual light range so I could you know have a dark environment it works just as well I believe they're UV so they're above the uh, the visual light spectrum so that's kind of cool I like the um, now if this oops let's get the light back on if I had the uh, an EG in on this, oh, excuse me, turn this off for now. If I had an EG in on the workstop, then I could set up an attack and release here and use the gate to trigger notes and stuff like that. But it doesn't, it just has the VCA in, so. Um, but I still, you know, can do a lot with it. Um, if you have a different synth that has, you know, an envelope gate input, then you can kind of use it in that way. Uh, otherwise, you know, the VCA snaps on and off with gate. So I like using the two CV outs. Fortunately, it has two sections. So you have two CV outs that allow you to control range. Um, maybe, for example, you want to do something that's more sustained. I'm going to switch these, like if you're doing drones and so forth, I'm going to use the, uh, the black cable, which is a CV of the lower section here. That's going to control pitch again. Ah, Got to get it in there. And then I'm going to use this one to control the filter's cutoff frequency. So, for example, I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to turn on the sustain of the workstop. There we are. That's the cutoff frequency of the low pass filter. Right there. So I'm gonna use this as kind of like the baseline. Let's say you want a drone or something. My on square wave. I'm just gonna try and make it a little more interesting. LFO on it. All right, now this upper half 
is going to be controlling the pitch. And the lower half, the cutoff frequency. Turn down the resonance a bit, and I turn the cutoff all the way down. This actually is controlling the pitch, I'm sorry, is the opposite. Now the filter is also controlled by the LFO, so you hear that, but it'll kind of break it a little bit when you send in the signal of the cutoff. Of course, here's the frequency of the pitch. You can turn that up. And so you're working with a little different range now, the upper range. Sorry, I just like to have fun. So anyway, now everything here was going through a delay over there, the uh, Zoom CDR 70. So um, yeah, you are hearing some extra delay, but I have all the other effects off. Um, but anyway, that should be a good overview of the Coma Commander. Uh, it does allow for you to adjust range in the back. There's four access holes here where with a small screwdriver you can adjust its range so you can make it longer or shorter. This seems to be a good range here for my uh, workstation. And um, if you take the back off there is another adjuster there uh, for voltage. Basically it can do multiple voltage ranges and you have to set it according to what your voltage range was. This is plus or minus 5 dB, the Moog workshop. Not dB, plus or minus 5 volts. And so that's what I was using um, in the range. Fortunately, tech people at uh, Perfect Circuit Audio, which I ordered it from, um, set it for me. So that was cool of them to do. Yeah, because this is actually, the company Coma is not a U.S.-based company, and so you have to look to see what retailers carry it here. Perfect Circuit Audio does. I mean, they're one of the big synth um, stores in the country, and uh, they have good customer support, so it's a good place to order from. Okay, that's it for this week. And I'll see you next week with some more stuff. Ciao.